So let's have a prayer first. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dam. Good afternoon, Dam. Okay. Good afternoon, Dam. Okay. So I will now be sharing my screen with you. Actually, very easy. Look at on topic in class, no? Um, elements of fiction. You have very common. No, it has been taught to you ever since elementary. You no, know, you have the plot, the characters, the setting, the theme. Um, but you will also, um refresh our minds when it comes to the elements of fiction. I'll also show you a video no, nga, um, what is the setting no, like for an entire cycle of a fictional story. And then later on, hopefully, if we time, we can read on a very short fictional story and, and identify its elements if we can pass time. If not, anyway, everything is present in your module 6. There are stories there. I think na kabuok, no, that's The Necklace by Gay de Maupassant. No, it's a French story translated into English. So na ato shay ko ano na ashay climax na ashay the new man resolution tanan elements of fictional story na adito. No, so just look at your module six. Anyway, December eighteen pa mampud ang deadline. Okay. So magita ra ang presentation class. Yes, madam. Okay. So, as what I've mentioned, this afternoon, I will be discussing the elements of fiction. So, there are different elements of fiction class. Now, in your English nga, class, you know, you mentioned it for me sa inyong teachers. Now, you have the plot, the setting, the characters, the point of view, and the theme. Now, as humanities and social science nga students, nga importante man siya po nga balik-balik taani nga topics. It is because, no, authors, no, famous authors like Tolkien, like George R. R. Martin, no, um, and others, no, you have Dolan, you have um, Shakespeare, no, um, some of their stories, because Shakespeare is not only known for, for making great poems and sonnets class, no, he also makes stories, but, so, they are known for their wonderful fictional stories, and, this revolves in the, in, in the elements of fiction. No? So, dili man mahimo nga nindot ang ilang story nga gipublish or um, mga stories atong ginabasa rin no? from, from ang pinaka-famous is ang kay um, Hans Christensen uh, Christen, I, for, I forgot the name ka itong naghimo sa, sa Little Mermaid and of course the Grimm Brothers no? nga were eh, naghimo sa, sa mga famous fairy tales na to. So, dili man na siya possible class nga nindot kay ang story if without these following elements no so writing is an art no so not just writing technically or academically but also no writing creatively is an art so let's start first with plot so the plot is the author's arrangement of events in this story it has a beginning middle and an end more specifically the plot follows the free tag pyramid so if as you can see no in this illustration this is the free tag pyramid class nga, uh, of course the story will start with an exposition no more getting to know of the character so kinsa man ni ang character sa story no kinsa man ang mga major and minor characters kinsa man ang main protagonist kinsa man ang antagonist so dili na na siya ang murag pag present sa mga characters no their background their story on sa man ang ilahang role sa story as well so next is the rising action the rising action is actually class ko ana siya no mer nag there na mag start ang problem do nga happy for example ang mga characters ya diha diha na ana dai conflict nga matabo no so that's rising action no mer nagpasaka og pasaka ang ang problems or conflicts nga ma encounter sa characters in the story and the climax is actually the conclusion so the turning point no the and this is where the intense emotions comes in nga there no mag meet dayon ang protagonist or antagonist or for example no um ang protagonist mabutang sa position nga wherein all hope is lost no nga napil din abi siya sa kuan kuno hay no sa antagonist so much may pinaka common nga nga plot diba so that's an example of climax no kanang peak no the highest emotions and 
the turning point of the story. The following action is, for example, ang, ang main protagonist, no, ang bida, oh, nakakita na siya way on how to pick himself up, or for example, ma-overcome na siya nga, nga conflict, no, or ma-overcome ba niya ang antagonist, that's falling action, no, kana makakita na kag mga, nahinin na ka makakita og solutions to the conflicts nga imong na face during the rising action. And the denouement is the resolution, no, after the war, after the conflict, oh, may na siya, no, the calm after the storm, na dilik before the storm, after the storm, no, so, may na siya nga, oh, na na-introduce ang happily ever after, for example, no, um, ko ano, no, um, wala na napatay na abi ang antagonist no or or nawala na abi ang antagonist or for example um, both the antagonist and the pr- protagonist comes into an agreement no nga okay na sila so that's the new method the resolution so to reiterate no the narrative stages or stages of the plot are as follows so the exposition the start of the story the situation before the action starts the rising action so the series of conflicts and crises in the story that lead to the climax and the climax is a turning point no the most intense moment either mentally or in action the reader wonders what will happen next will the conflict be resolved or not the falling action is the events and complications between uh, begin to resolve themselves and the events between the climax and the resolution and the denouement is of course no, the conclusion and untangling of events in the story so to appreciate no, the narrative stages no, of a plot i will show you a video So, mag... Kaan lang sa ko. Screencast. Kaya, dili madungog ang audio if mag-share screen ko. For a while lang, ha? Okay. Makita na ang YouTube nga screen class. So done. Okay. So I will show you a video from TED Talk. Actually, a TED Ed. Day, sorry. TED Ed is different from TED Talk. This is still part of TED Talk but more shorter and much more appealing to young viewers. No? Kay it's animated. So if you have the time, I know all of you has the time now because it's almost ko naman, no? um, Christmas break after the finals. So if you have the time, you're yeah, na bored out na mo, you can watch TED Ed videos. No, they're very um, educational. No, so this is under the category of creative writing. So I will show you a video. Actually, the title is "What Makes a Hero," but um, it also explains no the cycle of a fictional story. Na tong mag start with the the um, introduction of characters to the rising action. Metro heat like and screen cast. What did Harry Potter, Captain Miss Everdeen, and Frodo all have? Damn, excuse me, damn. Don't put all my nothing on the video, damn. For a while lang, um, ako lang sang i fast forward, or I mean, i increase ang speed. Kay, of course, medyo bug at kinag screencast mong ko good. Sorry, 1.5, I uh, 1.25 to 
What if I told you they are all variants of the same hero? Do you believe that? Putol, putol. For a while lang, uh, stop cast sa ko. Um, I-reload sa na ko ang page. Okay, please wait for a while lang tasa kay basen hinay po dag internet. Tulputul yun siya. Went to Harry Potter, Katniss Everdeen. Nay caption, just please read the caption na lang class. Sito no, so motto siya ang rising action or conflict. The climax is oh, kato nang Na-defeat na siya sa dako kayo nga monster niya. Hapit na to siya. Oh, Na-injured siya niya. Hapit na siya namatay, no? So, appeal po to sa turning point class. Nga although, no? Defeat siya sa dako nga monster. He was, um, you know, to reincarnated. And then he was given as an, a special power or strength. So, that could also be a climax. And that because of that new strength, no? no Na-defeat niya ang dako nga monster. And then, kitagaan din siya og treasure. So that is the falling action no na na nay resolution kay defeat na niya ang katong oh katong major jud nga monster nga nakapa-defeat niya una and then ang denouement or resolution is mo to naka-exit na siya sa cave and then oh he started a new life na pud balik no so that is an example no so katong nakita niyo sa video mo to ang pag-apply pod sa um, narrative stages no sa fictional story no so it's very common naman actually class to to identify the narrative stages of a fictional story because look at the movies ngayon yung ginalanta, no? For example, like Harry Potter, like Hunger Games, unsa pa may lain? Ano yung nakitaan? Okay, all stories follow these narrative stages. Unsa pa? Name a few. What else nga mga story ngayon yung nak or mga salida yung yung nakitaan? Oh, for example, no, kay Uso man pod karon ang oh, tong Attack on Titan, no. So I'm also an avid fan of that anime. No, di ba? Nagsugod to ang exposition is gipela ila sa season 1 ang characters, no. Silang Eren, I know ang boys makarelate jud ani, no. Silang Eren, silang Mikasa, no. Mo na siyang exposition, no. Gipela ila ang mga characters sa story, kinsa man ang mga main lead, kinsa ang supporting characters, although no, na namatay man to sila no ang ubang mga minor characters pero gipaila ila pud to sila no ang rising action is when oh si Berthold or kato si kun ko ka pronounce yung name no katong colossal titan o katong armored titan no ilahan nang gibreak ang wall maria no and then mo na to siya na uh, create din to grief dayon sa story kay tungod o oh, ang parents or ang mother di ani ko ay no ang mother sa protagonist kay namatay no because of titans no those are an example of a rising action climax or turning point no dako jud kayo og climax at turning point actually ang whole series because you cannot just pinpoint it no it's not a movie nga no? pinpoint ra nimo pila ka minutes o moya ni siya ang climax no because of tag mo four seasons na siya karon no so taas po kay ilang climax or turning point no every season na sila like climax or turning point so usually no like for example ko ano dira na na ang ang climax sa 
mailhan nimo kinsa ang mga traders or kinsa to ang ko ano a traitor sa ilahang sa ilang company no or kinsa to ang mga antagonist no na ila lang na encounter then falling action it's hard to pinpoint a falling action because wala pa man wala pa may resolution due to that conflict so siguro ang falling action is when um, may resolve na tanan ang conflict between humans and o kato ilahang antagonist which are the titans pero kung saan pa o katong mga marleyans no So the denouement is when na siya, no conclusion or tangli of events and story. You no know, same rapun na sa story ni Harry Potter, di ba? If nakalanto na mo Harry Potter exposition, mo sa first ng movie, so nagstart pa to sa koan. Kung na share screen para na mo yung guide. Okay, so di ba nagstart to at first sa O pala ila tong mga koan mga characters sa story no kin sa mga Harry Potter lang Hermione no mga friends ni Harry Potter no rising action is mo na to siya no katong si Voldemort og ginaapas niya permi si Harry Potter no ang climax is kato nag-away na sila ni Voldemort sa pinakalas nga movie no and then ang falling action is o kato na defeat na niya si Lord Voldemort sa pinaka latest niya nga movie katong pinaka final nila nga movie and the new meant is mo na to no grown up na silang Harry Potter wala na threat sa ni Voldemort no and at the same time ila nang gipa dalay lang anak sa Hogwarts no so those are examples of narrative stages no all heroic stories or even all stories have that same kind of narrative stage no so Let's now proceed to the types of plot. Events in a story can be presented in a variety of orders. We have the chronological order. Some stories begin with what happens first, following the regular time development of events to end. May ngon ganita o chronological order class mag-start siya with, what is it, pinaka-common, sinugdana until the end. But naiuban nga nag-start sa pinaka-end, no? Para sa anang, if mulan tao mo sa movies like Deadpool or kanan yung mga flashback stories po nung nga, nga, mo start siya with the ending, kanya, usa pa ka tagaan o clear picture of the story, once ka mo develop siya, nga na naabot ana ang ending. No, na may uban mga yung anak class nga, o oh, naabot naman yung ani ang character no nga, ko ano siya, kanang hopeless na siya or kanang mura siya o falling from a building no kay ang ending una gipakita sa story or sa movie na yun mo flashback din siya ngayon naabot siya anang a situation nga natagak siya from the building so those are also an example of a plot nga magbigyan siya sa end no and then i unravel na dayon niya as the story progresses then we also have some stories begin in the middle of things so sa tunga-tunga no so muna siya na example of that is oh nasa tunga tunga nga crisis ang ang character or ang protagonist and then oh mo flashback dayon siya no it's quite identical to to beginning at the end but the difference lang is sa tunga tunga siya mag start no flashback japon yung ginagamit pero dili jud totally nga predict ni mo what will happen in the end because wala man gipakita ang ang end part sa story Okay, since I did mention the types of plot nga nag-involve a flashback, so appeal po na sa fictional stories ang flashback class. So flashbacks are a technique in which the author interrupts the plot of the story to tell an incident of an earlier time. So sometimes class, no, mo story tell ang character or ang protagonist or ang bida about sa iyang life and then sometimes dili na makagats nga nung ani iyang behavior. So mo pa ng time nga mo flashback siya. No, para at least natay idea nga ah, mo rin natabo niya before mo unang naing ani siya karon no so those are flashbacks mo remember mag i flash niya mo mo remember siya unsay natabo niya sa past no para at least natay idea no nga ngano naing ana siya sa present foreshadowing is more on the future no so this is a writer's technique in which the author provides closer hints as to what is going to happen later in the story like for example If some of you are avid fans of the Godfather series, nga every time there are oranges or tangerines, no kanang mga orange in this scene, mo foreshadow din nga na ay mamatay. No, those are example of foreshadowing. No nga, marag, ma predict na dayon niya unsay matabo in the future. No, so 
This is a writer's technique in which the author provides clues or hints as to what is going to happen later in the story. Now, there was one time I was watching um, this famous series in Netflix, which is The Crown. No, uh, this is actually based on the real story of Queen Elizabeth II. So, ang yang husband, which is Prince Philip, so sa una na agtum sa sa Germany no niya, mo man siya to Scotland to study. And then katung bata pa siya na asay ate nga who is very afraid of flying, which is Princess Cecil. Si Princess Cecil every time nga mo mo sakay siya og airplane or mulupad siya, ang yang ginabuhat is magsulob siya og black no as if ready na siya for her funeral because that is how she despises flying. No di siya ginahan mo sakay og eroplano so umatabo ana no nga Mag, ano siya, mag-panic siya no, kung sa kayo siya plane. At the same time, she always wears black because for, for her, it's a very gloomy day to fly. No? Hindi siya siya ginahan. Muna, mag, muna mag-itom siya. No? And it's very, uh, for, it's very foreshadowing class no? because imuingon mali na yung bana nga. She always dresses up for a funeral every time nga she rides an airplane. And the end, namatay po di ay siya no? uh, due to a plane crash. And muna, naka, it, naka-itom po siya. And, and it foreshadows nga siya. Oh, it will be her cause of death. No, that's an example of foreshadowing. Uh, there are hints in the story. Uh, uh, this will happen to her because nag foreshadow na siya ng mamatay ni ang character. No, because nag present na siya og bad omen. Or for example, so sa ka story no or sa sa scene sa story is nag patarot card reading si koan si character no like for example ni actor sa sa manguhula niya ang nabasahan sa manguhula is o oh, katung death card ang iyahang iyahang napi, napili no so it foreshadows nga maybe no in the future mamatay pod ang character no well, that's foreshadowing next is conflict no of course a great story or, or an adventure doesn't kick off if it doesn't have any conflict in it no so the conflict is a struggle between two forces in the story it could be either a conflict between um the character and a force of nature or the character towards another person no so na dira ang protagonist antagonist or the character with himself no na ashay conflict with his own ideas no like for example labi na if na siya schizophrenia no um we do respect people with mental illness so na may uban sa to like a beautiful mind kung kakita mo na nga, nga movie no is actually not crazy class no? he he just suffers from mental illness no sometimes mo po na ang main yang nga conflict in the story no all of the voices and and the the hallucinations no so he is in war with himself no that's an example or a person with dual personality or multiple personalities so that could be an example of a conflict so moton na mention ako no there there are different types of conflict the physical conflict is between the character and nature or the physical world like for example if mulantaw mo sa mga movies class nga ang ihang kontra is or he is against the force of nature no So like for example, uh, disaster movies are examples of physical conflict. Do nga ang conflict that sa story is within erupt na ang ko ano ni erupt ang volcano or for example, night tidal wave and the characters need to survive that calamity. No, that's an example of physical conflict. No, so first patong bago na mong ginalanto po nga ko an class nga nga um, ang yahang masaog ka ng puzzle game. Pero mga koan siya, no? mga, oh, sana, eh? mga rooms, no? ano yung mga puzzles. And if, if, they, if they don't solve the puzzles immediately, oh, they will die. No? Those are example of physical conflict. They are not in conflict with another person, but they are in conflict with the physical world, their surroundings, or a force of nature. Social conflict is between characters no? or his or her society. No? So, nanadira ang introduction sa antagonist, no? So, nanay kontra bido, no? Physical person. Physical conflict, oh, calamities, um, the surroundings. The social conflict is between another person. And then, the internal conflict is between the character's mind, attitudes, or beliefs. No? Mula ito na mentioned earlier, no? Movies like A Beautiful Mind, no? Um, or people with, or a person with, sorry, a person with um, schizophrenia, with um, multiple personalities. Examples na na, ha? Um, what else? No, kana na asya yung mga ko ano, mga demons, ano in his own kana. Lima yung physical demons. So, what we mean about demons is like, for example, na siya mga dark past, no? Yeah, mapod na siya 
An example of internal conflict. He is in war with himself. Next is setting. So, we are done with plot na class, no? So, muna to siya ang plot, no? You have the conflict, no? Ang katong cycle niya, no? Yung hang stages, which is um, katong rising action, climax, the falling action, and the denouement. Oh, I forgot exposition. Eh? Exposition as well. So, muna siya under um, plot. Let's now proceed to setting. The setting is the place and time of the story. It also includes the circumstances of the story, like the weather condition, social class, etc. So, like, for example, if you're going to write a fictional story, asa man mo siya iset. No? Is, iset man mo siya in a futuristic world? No? Naanay mga flying cars, no? Um, High-tech na no? So, or ang setting ba nimo is sa uh, 19th century no or sa medieval period no or for example among setting is oh dili na po tanang mga common kay nga set, setting no na mga setting like for example in the middle of a storm no nati one time nga nagbasa po ko og novel class nga we're in ang yung setting is ko ano in the middle of a storm because every time ang katong ko an katong serial killer mo patay siya in in the eye of the storm no so yung setting class is Oh, in a hurricane, no? So, those are examples of setting. Dili na siya mo limit ang setting class to a time or a social class, no? Mo differ po siya in weather conditions. So, para sa katong novel na akong nabasahan. Next, ang characters. So, these are actually very important class because um, we cannot fully understand or, or there is no koan mang class, no? Wala po yung journey po nga matabo if wala po yung characters sa story. So, the characters includes not just people, even animals or things or even, um, koan, tala ibotang in, uh, inanimate objects, no? But they are represented as people in a literary work. So, ma'am, nga maabot man ang things or inanimate objects as characters, no? Like, for example, in fictional stories class, no, dili man sila yung limit lang to realistic character. Sometimes, so, they give life to inanimate objects. So, muna, they represent, like, butang sila personality nga. Para sa sa Beauty and the Beast, kung butang sila og murag character sa usa ka object, masking inanimate man supposed na siya. Pero, of course, no, na may reason behind that, kay they were cursed to become objects. No, but, there are other stories as well, no, or cartoon characters nga, o, oh, kuan sila, mura sila og kanang uh, objects la but they act as people. No? Even in Alice in Wonderland, no, the flowers there, no, they can talk, they have characters of their own. No? So, na siya. these are the characters. No? So, there are different types of characters class. We have the major and minor characters, we have the round and flat characters, the dynamic and static characters, the protagonist and the antagonist. Some of you may be familiar with major and minor characters and protagonist and antagonist. So, si major and minor characters, si major meaning, garotate ang tibok story nila. No? So, lajud ang bida. Ang minor characters are just supporting roles. No? Meaning, igo na sila ko, ano ka nang, delete sila always the focus of the picture. They just help support the major characters. No? Next is the round and flat characters. So, what are round and flat characters? Round characters are complex and true-to-life characters. They are described in more detail, having many different and sometimes even contradict contradictory personality traits. Ang round characters class is daghan siya personality traits. No, very kang bubbly, kuan kaayo ka ng Kung pa sa daghan kayo sila personalities nga, pwede lang ma-offer sa readers, no? Yeah, dili lang sila stick to one personality nga. If yung personality abi is angry all the time, angry na lang siya all the time all throughout the story. No, that's a flat character. But the round character is, he is able to feel numerous emotions and naghan siya personality traits. No, dili lang siya fun to be with or bubbly na po yung sensitive side, na po siya brave side. And that is much more engaging as a character kay mas ninot man lang tao, no? Or mas ninot basahon ang usa ka character nga well-rounded ka ayo po siya. So, next is flat characters. Flat characters are stereotype, shallow, and often symbolic. They have only one or two personality traits. Okay. It's okay. Anyway, this is recorded. They can rewatch um this lecture sa YouTube. Okay, so our round characters class, I mean, sorry, ang flat characters in contrast to round characters. See, si flat characters class. Also, like, for example, if his character here is, 
she is always jealous, no? Okay naman siya at first, pero kamadugayan, no? Kumorja na ang yahang trait all throughout the story, no? Kana pong kaayo? Kanang, laway na pong kaayo, no? Or kanang, it's too bland, no? Hindi na pong kaayo siya enjoyable to watch or to read, no? So, dapat, um, if you are going to make stories or um, make characters, no? Or, for example, um, personality traits in your characters, you have to make sure nga, kung siya, very flexible siya. No, kay kamo man siya po na magbuot no as a writer as an author no um or as a writer nila no as a young writer if you're going to make stories masinot man if rounded imong characters because na ko ano na flexibility no dili lang siya ko ah dili siya flat or wala siya development kay as people no as real people kita we are also round characters no dili man ta ingon nga we're just capable of having one personality traits we have numerous personality traits Next, ang dynamic characters. Ang dynamic characters undergo some type of change or development in the story, often because of something that happens to them. For example, if the if the character at first, no, ang ang main character is very ko ah, no, um, very shy, very timid, no, very weak as a character. Pero because of hardships and trials, na himo siya as someone that is strong, no, and courageous. So that's an example of a dynamic character, no. Na siya character development class nga. He started off weak, then he became strong all throughout the story. No, so ano man ano kalabanan po sa story mas mapresita to if na siya character development, no. Or for example, he started off as selfish, no? Yeah, because of what happened to him, no? Na usab na yah, na she change of heart. Ang sa tay characters are those characters nga wala siya nagchange, no? If greedy siya sa beginning of the story until the end, no? So he is a static character. Again, I would like to recommend if you're going to write a fictional story, some of you are aspiring writers, man. Please be more dynamic, no, and more rounded when it comes to writing your characters. Because again, no, as people, we are subject to change. No, dili man ta ingon nga magmaintain ta. No, nothing in this world is permanent except change. So we change as people. Therefore, your fictional characters should also change as well. No, that could connect with your readers. Okay, the protagonist and the antagonist. The protagonist is the main character in the literary work. Siya ang kanang hero. Siya ang bida. Tanang atan siya na anyan yung an. Mag siya ang chosen one, no? Kung sakuan pa. The antagonist, on the other hand, from the word antagonist, no? Or anti, the character who opposes the protagonist, no? So, do not interchange. Kanakahakay. Pro, meaning you're in for it, no? Protagonist. The antagonist is the character who opposes, no? Or for example, siya ang villain sa story. But, As you grow older, class, you must accept that many more. The reason why there is a protagonist and antagonist, it's because the antagonist maybe has a different view with the protagonist. And if you look at other stories, sometimes the antagonist has a has a point. No, mo na kalabanan po, no. So, the reason ra, no, ng mga opos sa mo na dito may ngon ng shadow ang ang evil one, no? Ano ato siyang gidefine ang antagonist as someone who opposes? Because not all antagonists are evil. No, kakita mo sa yung definition, the character who opposes the protagonist, maybe because the antagonist has a voice of his own and he wants to, ko ano, ka nang contradict with the protagonist because they don't share the same ideals. So that is why, dili, dyan na to na maingon nga, not all antagonists are evil. Maybe they just have different views. Muna, ang yung definition, dili evil. Ang yung definition is, it's just a character who opposes the protagonist. Okay. Next is characterization. Characterization refers to the methods used by the writer to create his or her characters. So, what are the methods of characterization? Characters are revealed to us by means of following techniques. Or, for example... We can introduce our character in the koan class, no? In the exposition or the first part of the story, based on we describe its physical appearance, no? Tall, slender, no? Mga ana abe, no? Or for example, their names. So you started off with their names, no? Introduce ni mo yung pangalan kay si ko ano Philip, no? Or yung pangalan kay si si Margaret, no? So kung Mo po na siya ang other methods to introduce the characters in this story. Or, it could also be what the narrator tells about them or what other characters say about them. There are times po class nga mag-start ang pag-introduce sa mga characters sa story because of the minor characters. Ito nga. 
nabutabi si minor character niya mo narrate siya about his friendship with the main character and then yahan ang story ah, mo oni siya ang yahang ko ano mo oni ang ang batasan or morning achievement sa main character no siya ang mo narrate no sa sa personality traits sa main character okay, next is point of view point of view is the angle or perspective from which the story is told no or who tells the story is it sa first person or third person point of view? So, mo taog, first person, ang main character mismo ang ga, storya sa iyahang, ko ano, iyahang journey, no, or sa story. Ang third person is na ay narrator, no, gamo storya about sa character. So, the story, uh, the first person point of view is that the story is told from the viewpoint of one of the characters using the first person pronoun I. So, the first-person narrator can either be the participant or non-participant in the action. So, most probably, ano, ano kalabanan, ano, class, ko, ay, na, ajun ay, um, say, tawag, ano, mag, speech, nam siya, speech bubbles, no? Like, for example, na, asya, ay, conversations, na, no? If, if you read the story, na, na, siya, mga conversations, because, ang gastorya mismo is the main character himself. And the third person, on the other hand, is uh, it is told by a narrator, no, and uses a third person pronoun such as he, she, his, her, they, or them, no. Third person point of view can be broken up into three different types. We have the om omniscient, limited omni omniscient, sorry, omniscient objective. So. The first point of view is the narrator has the power to show the readers what is happening in the minds of the characters, their feelings and their thinking. Even though, no, dili man siya ang main character, no, narrator na siya, but he or she, no, can explain or discuss what is happening in the minds or what is, what what are the characters feeling, because makita man siya, no, silang emotions, silang thoughts. So that's the omni. Omniscient or omnis omniscient point of view. The limited omniscient point of view is that the narrator shows us inside the mind of one of the character, not everyone. So, for example, if you have five characters, ang limited omniscient or omniscient ba siya, no? Um, dili tanan iyahang makita ng thoughts, no? Siguro, out of the five characters, ang katong pinaka main character ay iyahang masultian on sa ang nasiyang huna huna no or on sa ang feeling sa main character pero ang katong mga minor characters dili siya makakita no dili niya ma-explain ang omniscient is tanan no apil na ang minor characters na apil na ang main character the objective point of view on the other hand is it is told from a camera that follows the characters only what is said and done is recorded so dili siya makakita what's on the minds and what is the character feeling, no? Silbi, kung unsan siya gilihok dira ni character, maro po di yung story tell, no? Di siya niya ma-explain ang unsan deep inside, no? Ang emotions inside the character. Okay, next is the theme. The theme is the central idea or central message of the story. It usually contains some insight into human condition. Tell something about humans and life. So, for example, if the theme is more on, oh, it, um, uh, makakaan siya, no, makakuha ka og lesson siguro from it. Like, for example, if you look at Fables class, no, there are short stories but they have lessons at the end, no. Or for example, if ang theme is to learn something pero in a very horrifying way, no, like for example, um, there are authors na who would like to write um, horror stories but na siya ay, na kay malearn, no, but but of course, no, ang character magsuffer siya in the end, no, mapo na siya ang theme, no. So, Ano sa no? Is the story meant to 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 tell a lesson, no? Or is the story just meant to entertain? No, depende na si mong theme. Ano sa mong message sa story, no? Next is other techniques, no? We have irony. So under irony, we have verbal irony, dramatic irony, and situational irony. So in verbal irony, this is the contrast between what is said and what is meant. In dramatic irony, this is the contrast between what the character thinks to be true and what the readers know to be true. Like, for example, if the character denies that he has committed murder, but we as readers, we know that he has committed this crime, no? because nag follow Maruta sa story no? page by page, and we know no? he's the culprit. No? Pero siya ga deny siya. That's dramatic irony. 
sometimes as we read we are placed in the position of knowing more than what the character knows no because we know something the character does not and we read to discover how the character will react when he or she learns the truth of this situation so that's also um, one of the benefits but of um writing no because your in your imagination pwede ka ka play sa yung mga characters no in the story in situational irony it is the contrast between what happens and what was expected to happen okay so proceed to symbolism symbolism is heavily discussed in this subject no because again a lot of authors use this all the time so a symbol represents an idea quality or concept larger than itself so for you you may see this picture as a ship or um, a huge galley but this means something more it means a journey you know? it can also represent life you no know? journey that can symbolize life because our life is always a journey you no know? we start off you no know, to ang journey as 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 kids until naabot sa tigulang tanan and then kuno siya no same rap pod mga mimic rap pod sa journey ang life no? lion can be a symbol of courage a red rose can represent love. A dove can represent peace. Water may represent cleanliness and renewal. Okay, so I think that ends the discussion for this afternoon. Okay, so please take note, class, of the forms of fiction. Okay, so... Um, in your exam for creative writing, um, there will be stories with symbolisms and, of course, um, elements of a fictional story. Please make sure to familiarize them. I will um, share the learning materials or kaning slides akong ipakita karon, as well as the video no, um, sa Google Classroom para naamoy ko ano, no, kanang i-review because there will be stories in your examination, in your finals exam. Um, I think there were four of them or five. Mubasa mo anak class and you have to you have to read actually the story. Hadili mo skip dito sa questions right away because you cannot answer the questions without reading the story. You have to understand what the characters went through as the pit ang climax, as the pit ang falling action, as the pit ang rising action, as the pit ang ang resolution. No, kay once you read the story, kabalo nung mo asa pinpoint ah mo ni ang time ang climax kato na tong natagak ang koan. No, natagak ang character no niya, or na war between them and the antagonist no so naraana okay so any questions actually that this is our last discussion na for creative writing no, next week will be your finals exam any questions class dam ang mga was na makatorang kuandam ang form of fictions yes and also symbolisms no, mom, ti pinaka okay, recent dam. this time. Okay, yeah, medyo dugay-dugay na po tawala ka classic creative writing and I think we ended at symbolisms, no, in poetry. So, appeal na po na siya. Symbolisms and um, forms of fiction. Kanya kong gishare ka rin, no? Okay, dam. Okay. And class, um,